Hey guys, Time with Elevation every weekend here. Thanks for stopping back by. Uh, the reason for today's video is Surly has just announced the 2021 Surly ice cream truck. Uh, if you followed my channel at all, you know I have the 2020 version and I've done a, a number of videos and extensive testing on that bike. So I just wanted to do a real quick uh, what's new video of the brand new bike and see uh, what, if anything, has changed. Uh, the most obvious change is the new color, which is called Buttermint Green. It's like a pale, mint green and really about the only other major change with the bike is the retail price the starting price uh, was two thousand dollars last year that is u.s pricing uh, this year it's up 99 dollars, so two thousand ninety nine dollars so you know just inflation at play there not not a huge jump um, as far as the bike itself that's really about it so pretty much everything else is exactly the same as last year it appears to have the exact same frame as last year the same uh, you know brazons and mounting points tube design uh, geometry all those things appear to be exactly the same and of course uh, that is uh, using Surly's 4130 uh, durable steel frames that they use on all their bikes just running through the major component aspects of it uh, up in the cockpit they are still using the salsa rustler bars uh, and the Cane Creek headset, so that's exactly the same as last year. Uh, the brakes are still the exact same uh, Tektro brakes, which I find to be adequate in general use, but on like long descents and things like that, they do kind of fade a little bit. Still running 180 millimeter up front and 160 millimeter in the back. The saddle is the exact same WTB Volt uh, 142. Uh, which uh, seems to be a pretty good solid saddle. The good news is on the uh, drivetrain side of things, nothing has changed. So it's still using uh, the race face bottom bracket uh, and crank set. Uh, so that's really good. And it still has the Shimano SLX 1x12 uh, shifter and drivetrain with the 10 uh, by 51 range on the rear uh, cassette and the SLX derailleur. So I've had great luck with everything drivetrain related on the 2020 version. So it's, I'm glad to see that they uh, stayed with uh, that setup on the brand new bike and anyone who buys a new bike will, will really benefit from that. And then the other, only other major component is uh, the wheels, tires. So, so it's still using the Novatec hubs. It's still 150 millimeter in the front, 197 in the rear. It is still using the uh, My Other Brother Darrow uh, wheel set. Uh, they're 80 millimeters wide. Uh, I've had great luck with those as, as well. Uh, it's also still using the Surly uh, Bud and Lou tires, which I have set up on the bike from day one and they've been great. So they don't leak, they don't seep. So again, good to see that they're still using the same combination there because uh, great traction, uh, great comfort, and it's been highly reliable, especially set up tubeless. So it's good to see that they've maintained that as well because uh, it's a really uh, good solid uh, wheel and tire combination. All right, so that's really about it. Like I said, it's essentially the same bike as last year, different color, slightly more expensive. If you're in the market for a, a fat bike or an ice cream truck more specifically, uh, I have a number of videos, which I'll link all of them down below, uh, testing the bike in a number of circumstances, gravel grinding, snow riding, uh, rocky trail climbing, uh, even I even summited a 14er uh, on the bike. I'll link all those videos down below if you really wanna see what the bike's capable of. Um, I've had great luck with it and I'm actually just about to do a one year uh, overall review on the bike so look for that soon. The bikes are just about to hit the street right now so definitely if you're in, if you're in the market uh, definitely start looking now because uh, they won't last long. It seems like supplies are still stressed under with the pandemic and whatnot so definitely get your order in now and get one reserved if you're looking for one. If your local retailer can't get one from you I'll put a link down below to my local bike shop. They can ship anywhere in the United States and they get a good allotment of Surly bikes. You can definitely uh, check them out and see if they can help you out if you don't have any luck with your local retailer. All right guys, that's the extent of today's video is just to do a real quick update video. So like I said, check out those links down below if you wanna get some in-depth information on what the bike's capable of. If you have any questions or comments about the ice cream truck, drop those down below. I'm happy uh, to respond to all my uh, questions and comments. If you're enjoying the content on the channel, uh, please like the video and please subscribe to the video. It really helps out the channel and I have lots more coming with the ice cream truck and fat bikes in general. So thanks a lot and have a great day.